circuit become broken, burned, or otherwise separated to interrupt their continuity. An open circuit prevents any flow of current in the circuit. In this example, the neutral conductor has been broken to stop the current flow. If the hot conductor was broken instead, the effect on the circuit would be the same. If any part of this circuit fails, it breaks the continuity and stops the flow of current. Replacing the defective circuit component or repairing the broken wire restores the circuit to normal operation. The fuse or circuit breaker normally does not react to an open circuit. In the field, electric circuits are generally installed in a manner that rules out a visual inspection of the wiring itself. However, to be able to correct any trouble, the electrician must be able to identify the type of malfunction that exists in the line. The correct tools and equipment will make this identification easier. The tools normally used for troubleshooting are a voltage tester and a multimeter or buzzer type continuity tester. We will demonstrate the use of these tools to troubleshoot this familiar basic circuit. The protective device has been set off indicating that the fault is probably a short circuit or a grounded circuit. To check the wiring safely, disconnect the conductors from the power panel. For the hot conductor, this is normally done by removing the fuse or opening the